This video explains the process for flush mounting a brocade switch in a two-post telecommunications rack using the XBR000295 rack kit. Before you start, ensure that you comply with the requirements as displayed. Allow 15 to 30 minutes to complete this procedure. Check that your rack kit contains the parts as displayed. Ensure that you have a second person to help you, that you use the screws specified for the switch, and that you have a Phillips number 2 Torx screwdriver, as specified. Position the right front bracket with the flat side, against the right side of the switch. Insert 4 5 16 of an inch flathead screws, through the top and bottom vertically aligned holes in the bracket, and then into the pair of holes on the side of the switch. Repeat for the left front bracket. Tighten all screws to a torque of 15 inch pounds. Position the switch in the rack and provide temporary support under the switch, until the switch is fully secured to the rack. Attach the right front bracket to the right rack upright, using two 5 8 of an inch panhead screws, and two retainer nuts. Repeat for the left front bracket. Tighten all screws to a torque of 25 inch pounds. Select the proper length bracket for your post width. Position the right rear bracket in the right rear of the switch. Attach the brackets to the right rack upright, using two 5 8 of an inch panhead screws, and two retainer nuts. Repeat for the left rear bracket. Tighten all screws to a torque of 25 inch pounds. Align the right rear bracket to the right rear of the switch, and use 4 5 16 of an inch panhead screws. Repeat for the left rear bracket. Tighten all screws to a torque of 15 inch pounds.